All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. I'm here at Small Data SF, and look who I have with me, Chitrang Dave, uh, who's the head of data and analytics at Edward Life Sciences. Super excited to chat with you. I know we missed each other at various conferences, but finally here we are at Small Data SF. Uh, super excited to chat with you, and obviously, I'm pretty sure the audience would also love to know a little about yourself. And um, uh, what are you doing at Small Data SF? Yeah, great, great question. Nice to meet you. Finally, connect in person here. Uh, yeah, so uh, data leader, I spent a long, long time uh, of my career in uh, enterprise uh, data and analytics and very close to this space. Uh, my introduction to small data and, and DuckDB specifically was a few years ago uh, when I was trying to look at and, and query a bunch of uh, downloaded data, like CSV files, uh, open data that I downloaded for some personal analysis. And I was looking for a quick way to query these without actually importing that. And, and nice. I've been tracking all of the development uh, with DuckDB, group by all uh, is like one of those things that was my favorite that I first discovered through, nice. through, uh, through Mother Duck and DuckDB. Um, but yeah, you're right, you know, I've spent my career in enterprise and we deal with uh, uh, lots of big data. Right. Um, compute. Storage, our personal computers have, I think, I think, finally caught up to what used to be big data 10 years ago. <laughs> so, uh, lots of, you know, opens up a lot of potential, a lot right. of opportunities for what you can do with data. That's awesome. And I've been, you know, obviously at this conference, I've been kind of listening a lot about how enterprises can also implement. You've kind of given us one example, but then I'm kind of also curious to know about uh, what makes you feel that, you know, small data could be the next thing. Uh, why should we keep a tap on small data? How does it help and how do you differentiate it with the big data versus small data now? Yeah, I think the, we, we are entering an era, I think in this whole modern, modern data stack, we're entering an era of choice mm. where you have the ability to bring the right engine to the right problem, right compute engine to the right problem. And, uh, and this is where I think uh, uh, something like Mother Duck and, and small data can really shine Right. where uh, you can have uh, personalized data sets for analysis uh, by analysts or, or specific uh, use cases. Um, I know like not every enterprise uh, has hundreds of terabytes of data and that definition of small data is really like uh, uh, changed, uh, like I said, with, right. with uh, hardware and with uh, uh, what's possible today. Right, and you're right in terms of you know how machines have become powerful as compared to what we were seeing in the last, say, the 20 years of big data era. What do you feel? Is it going to become like a, a little more easier where oh, you have one machine you can work on and you know you can get through? Is is that going to make a lot of difference in the coming future? Yeah, it's a good question. So, right, we Hadoop and the whole distributed compute era right. uh, brought about the whole big data revolution. Um, we are kind of seeing this direction going the other way now, where a lot of the use cases can really fit on uh, on one node, can can run uh, run fast with engines like like DuckDB, uh, especially if you know no query and you know a little bit of SQL and Python, uh, can take you very far today. So. Yeah. So yeah, I see convergence uh, in, in terms of tools, but um, my um, uh, the way I'm looking at small data is really about it's about choice. It's about bringing uh, the right uh, set of tools to the to the problem. Yeah, no, I think uh, those are fantastic insights. Also, kind of curious to learn a little about the challenges, right? With big data, obviously, now there are a lot of challenges too. Uh, but with small data, how do you solve those challenges? I'm kind of interested to learn from an enterprise point of view that, okay, fine, we've been you know working with big, big data since such a long time, and these, were, these are the challenges, but small data is kind of helping us get through those yeah. types of challenges. Yeah, I mean, there are two things, right? So, uh, and, and enterprises are not unique in this. Um, the, the first is uh, complexity. So with big data, with distributed compute, right. comes complexity, you have a, a, a specialized skill sets uh, to be able to really take advantage of the stack and then with that also comes cost and, and exactly. enterprises are not immune to this where <laughs> uh, especially in uh, in with the interest rate environment that we are in and with the uh, slowdown that we are seeing in the economy everybody is watching costs right and uh, this is where I think something uh, uh, like this where you know bring the right compute use the right amount of spend for the right, right. Uh, problem can, can go a long way. And it's also 
you know, obviously complexity, 100% agreed. Cost, one big, uh, you know, obviously key factor to work on. And also the time. Do you also think that time kind of plays a very important role because you're, uh, when we talk about big data projects, those can go on for like sometimes months, sometimes years, right? But with small data, you can achieve goals faster. It could be better, it could be simpler. Yeah, this is so true. Uh, the the um, the patience is not there, right? People are not <laughs> interested in true? like a six month uh, discovery exercise. A business moves fast. Uh, insights need to happen now. Like the, the questions that you have today need answers today. Right. Uh, and so the the more you can do, and, and in the enterprise we've had this. You're familiar with this self service notion for a long time. Yeah. And and what does that really mean, right? So how do you really enable self service? And this is where something like uh, like uh, uh, knowing a little bit of SQL, having the right access, mm. can take you a, take you a long way. Yeah, it's about keeping it easy and keeping it more about what what should you be using in your projects to make it easier and faster as well. So that's uh, fantastic. Uh, also wanting to learn a little about the future, right? We are in this, like you said, in this era where we need to definitely keep a tap on the small data. How do you see the future? Is it something that, like, I know every enterprise is unique to itself, right? But is it something which will be the next big thing uh, that we can keep a tap on and just um, a lot of enterprises would actually adopt something like this? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I, I think there is going to be a, a, a carve out and, and mm. I mentioned earlier about choice. Right. So uh, the, 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 if you have the smartest people in your orgs who are keeping up with this kind of stuff, you know, they're going to be able to uh, optimize your environments and take advantage of some of the developments. I. Um, have this unique perspective because I live here in the Bay Area and right. so uh, get exposure to a lot of this uh, fast moving uh, technology and fast changing technology landscape. So this you know, point about future is one thing I know is it's very hard to, to predict what's <laughs> predict, coming. Right. But, but I do see this, this, uh, this choice, this ability to um, really bring the, the right uh, set of tools right. and something like uh, Duck DB, Mother Duck can can really help solve some really key uh, pieces in your in your uh, data data landscape data puzzle. Right, that's awesome. And uh, yes, definitely something which is kind of very much uh, uh, I'm pretty sure resonates with a lot of enterprise leaders out there. So thanks for that, uh, Chitrang. One last question for you. Obviously, I'm pretty sure our audience would also want to reach out to you, learn more about what you do. Which is the best place? Is LinkedIn a best place? Where where are you most active, and where can they reach out to you? Yeah, that's a great question. I am uh, pretty active on LinkedIn. That's uh, awesome. And and you know I, I come and go depending depending on how much bandwidth and time I have, uh, but uh, probably LinkedIn is the best way to connect. Uh, pretty active is just uh, my first name last name Chitrang the way. Uh, awesome. You can, it should be easy to find. That's very cool and uh, thanks for taking the time out and doing this. It's such a pleasure to meet you finally in person and uh, you always share great insights. So, such a pleasure. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. I love what you're doing and, and uh, spreading the word and uh, I really appreciate your work. So Thank you very much. Closely. Thank you very much and thank you everyone for joining us today.